Hi, this is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the BX files with our natural circle applique monogram in Embrilliant software. Once you've installed the BX files for our natural circle applique monogram, you will click the A button to create lettering objects. From the pull down menu, you want to select which monogram and which size you want. We have natural circle applique available from 3.5 inch all the way up to 7.5 inch. We have it in a full satin stitch version. We also offer it in a zigzag applique from 3.5 inch through 7.5 inch. So you can just choose which style to use depending on which purchase you've made. I'm going to go back up to um, the natural circle satin stitch. Oh, that's not satin stitch. Applique in the 7.5 inch size. Now, if you are um, using a lettering object, you do not have the arrow to expand. And if you are running in brilliance and express mode, this is all you can do. What you're going to do is save this design file. And if you click over here on the color options, if we scroll up, we're going to see that we have nine color stops. And that's because it's going to do the placement step for the A, the tack down stitch for the A, and the satin stitch for the A. Then it's going to move from left to right and do the B and do the placement, tack down, and satin for B, placement, tack down, and satin for C. So again, if you're running in Brilliance in Express mode, when you save the design file, that's what you're gonna get at your machine, is three letters um, stitched individually from left to right. And so it'll have nine color stops, which is fine if you're gonna use three different fabrics for your monogram. If you're going to use the same fabric, it's a little tedious, but hey, you get to use this software for free. Now, if you happen to own Embrilliance Essentials, you can do something to save yourself some time at the machine. And that up here, you can go under Utility and choose Color Sort. All right, it's gonna tell me that this design page has been reduced by six color changes. And that's because it's going to group these colors. Since none of my letters overlap, it's going to take the all three of the placement stitches and group them together, so there's one purple step. Then it will take all three of the tack down stitches, group them together, so there's one tack down step, and then the three satin stitches together. So I will click Save It. And I need to name my file, so I'll just name this ABC um, Natural Circle, and I'll go ahead and name it Sorted. I will choose my machine format, for me that's PES, and click Save. Now you may look here and be confused because you still see nine color stops. That's because we're still on the working file. What we need to do is open that newly saved design file, and again I'm doing this in Essentials. So if I open up that file, we'll see that now, instead of a lettering object, I have a design file here. So I do have the arrow where I can expand the steps and we'll see there's only three color stops. The first one is the outline of the A, B, and C for the placement stitch. The second is the tack down stitch for the A, B, and C. And the third is the satin stitch. If we watch this in Stitch Simulator, um, we'll see that happen that it's gonna do the A, B, and C outlines, and then it'll tack it down, and then it'll start on the satin stitches for all of them, and I'll just scroll across here so you can see that it completes them in order. So if you're planning to use just one fabric, using the Essentials Color Sort feature is a good time saver. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.